Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to Simply Tarot. I am going to be doing a updated Twin Flame Soulmate reading for today. Um, the readings may or may not resonate for you. If you are in some other part of your journey or anything like that. So um, if it doesn't resonate, it wasn't meant for you. If it does, awesome. <clears throat> um, so let's get started. Okay, Twin Flames and Soulmate update, please. Twin Flame and Soulmate update, please. Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, Ace of Cubs, oh, Eight of Wands, Two of Wands, and High Priestess. <clears throat> so, this honestly looks pretty good. We have the Emperor, so someone's in their Emperor energy, which is the best you could possibly be in. We have New Beginnings in Love, we have um, this can be communication or just like fast moving, um, something. <clears throat> we have Knight of Swords, which is rushing in. We have Nine of Wands, which is kind of, you know, a little bit of nervousness. Um, <clears throat> Hierophant is like commitment, marriage. Two of Wands is waiting, and then we have the High Priestess. <clears throat> so, what I'm thinking is... We have someone in their emperor energy that wants to offer a new love with you. The divine masculine, I'd say, wants to offer the, a new wants to offer love, <clears throat> a new beginning in love. I think he wants to charge in quickly with communication or action um, with this Knight of Swords energy, but I think he knows he needs to wait. I think he's trusting his intuition to wait a little bit. Um, we have the commitment card here. We have nine of, nine of wands, which is like, <clears throat> he's a little um, scared, maybe a little hesitant for whatever reason. I think he, he wants to rush in, but I think he knows he needs to um, wait it out a little bit for whatever reason. Maybe to close up karmic cycles or something like that. But this person most definitely is in their emperor energy, trusting their intuition, wants this new beginning, wants to talk, wants to rush in but is waiting a little bit to do it. So I think at this point, it's not about if it's going to happen, because it clearly is. We're just going to clarify these. Why is the emperor here? <clears throat> King of Swords. Yes, he, he wants to come in and speak his truth. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Moon. He wants to rush in and, I think, um, reveal the unknown. Why is the <clears throat> Nine... Yeah, he uh, wants a new new beginning. A little hesitant, but definitely wants this. We have this, two aces right here. There's a Hierophant here. Two of Cups, which is kind of essentially the lover's card. Why is this Ace of Cups here? I knew I felt that one. Okay, <clears throat> that's crazy. Ace of Pentacles, <laughs> confirm Ace of Cups. Look how many aces we have on the board. Like, these new beginnings are on their way. We're in Emperor energy, we want new beginnings, we want communication, trusting our intuition. Like, this is incredible. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Wow, he's in king energy too. He's trying to, that's, it's okay. So he wants to rush in like the Knight of Swords, but he knows he needs to come in with the slow and steady, reliable king energy um, for this communication or offer or both. <laughs> Why is the two of wands here, please? Oh. 
Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I think he's waiting for um, the right time, a cycle to change before he comes in. Oh, can't get his card off the floor. All right. Um, why is High Priestess here, please? Why is the High Priestess here? Oh, wow. Why is the High Priestess? Whoa. All right. Hold on. <laughs> why is that? Why is the High Priestess here, please? Nine of Cups, wish fulfilled. This is honestly about as good as it can get. <laughs> we have the Emperor here wants to come and speak the truth. The Knight of Wands wants to rush in and speak the unknown. He knows he needs to wait for the right opportunity. A little nervous for the new beginning. Hierophant with the Two of Cups, trusting his intuition about this wish fulfillment. And new new love new beginnings here right i mean clarifying each other and then he needs to come in with the king of pentacles to talk to you he needs to make sure he's in this kind of king of pentacles energy and not rush in with the knight energy he needs to come with a slow and steady offer this is nuts <clears throat> um what's the overall energy for this set of whoa anything else One, one more, please. Alright, got two. Um, we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you, the, you experience more love in your present moments. <clears throat> so there's new love. Someone's forgiving and learning. This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner. And you're seeking flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy towards others. Okay, so it's like we really don't even need to go a whole lot further, but we will. All right, what's in the Divine Masculine's heart space right now? What's in Divine Masculine's heart space? <coughs> Divine Masculine's heart space. In divine masculine's heart space. Ooh. What's in divine masculine's heart space? What's in divine masculine's heart space, please? <clears throat> Three of Pentacles. The world. The tower. Oh, wow. What's in divine masculine? What's in divine masculine's headspace, please? Oh, my nose is edgy. What's in divine masculine's headspace, please? Oh. Alright, they keep flying. I better start taking these. Ace of Cups. What's in divine masculine's headspace, please? Ace of Wands. What's in Divine Masculine's headspace, please? If the Ace of Pentacles comes up. Two more, please. What's in Divine Masculine's headspace? Anything else? more please this is ridiculous like I don't even know wow okay three of pentacles the world we have a, a ch in the tower and and the fool like the tower like <sighs> new beginnings and endings like tower moments change 
leaps of faith. Like th this top, in his heart, he like a million percent wants to take this jump. <laughs> this is this is like insane. Heart space. Two aces right here. Two new beginnings. Trusting his intuition. Wants to come in with this offer. Like I thought it couldn't get better yesterday, but like. If this didn't already happen, then it's like happening in like an hour. <laughs> I mean, not literally, but like, wow. Uh, I'm gonna pull a couple of romance angel. We get one romance angel for divine masculine's headspace, please. Pay attention to red flags. It's interesting. Um, what's in divine masculine's headspace, please? Stay optimistic. So, <clears throat> why is the Three of Pentacles here? This is like, this is insane. There's no doubt, there's no question. It's just like, hi, I'm here, I'm coming. Wow. What's the, this is insane, guys. Did you pups? Wants to come up with an offer. Why is the world here in the Divine Masculine's heart? Wow, flying across the room. <laughs> Another offer. <laughs> yeah, he's like literally there's so much change here. Tower, world, fool. Why is the tower here in his heart space, please? <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I had I think he had a tower moment. I think he's a little he's a little nervous, which is which is the same card that came up in the previous spread. Why is the fool here? I mean but who wouldn't with all of this? So yeah, he most definitely, there's so much change, leaps of faith, a little bit of nerves, but that's normal, I'd say. Like, look at the Tower World and Fool card. That's ridiculous. Why is the Ace of Cups here? <laughs> oh my god, you can't make this up, guys. Like, everyone says it, but it's crazy. <coughs> Ten of Pentacles, like, ultimate abundance, happiness, new love offer for this. Like, that's insane. Wow. <laughs> Why is it he's so on here? Like, congratulations. Okay, so he is taking a little bit more time to reflect. Like we saw in the previous spread. But he wants 100 million percent is, like, about to take this. Why is the high price just here? He knows he was deceptive in the past. Get one more for the high priestess. Yeah, he knows uh, <clears throat> he's kind of deceptive in the past. I mean, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? I think he's walking away from whatever doesn't, whatever doesn't serve him. So, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, world, tower, and fool, like... It's like almost like clarifying made it more confusing, but like literally, world tower fool, like ready to go, ready for change, ready to come in, new beginnings, ten of pentacles, waiting it out a little bit, knows he was deceptive, leaving whatever didn't serve him before. I think it's a little weird as to pay attention to red flags. Why does it pay attention to red flags, guys? It's been coming up a lot. Okay. I think, yeah. I think he wants to rush in, but he knows he needs to, he's ready. He's like so ready, but he knows he needs to come in, not perfectly, but with a, with a abundant offer or whatever you want to call it. Wow. Whoa. Didn't even ask to get in this camp line. Chariot. So much movement. So much movement. So much movement in new beginnings. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm just going to get rid of these because honestly, I think it's making it confusing, but Literally, if you take out these two, this is powerful. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> that is nuts. Wow. Yeah, I think the thing is, he he's so he's so ready now. I think the red flags is. You don't, don't rush in like a knight. You need to come in with a king energy or emperor energy. That's like, oh my God. 
look at the what's in the divine feminine's heart space, please. What's in the divine feminine's heart space, please? Wow. Guys, this is ridiculous. Empress, Strength, Ten of Pentacles, which was down here earlier. Ultimate Abundance, Ace of Pentacles, New Love. New Offer, not New Love, but New Offer. Well, can be. Just a new beginning. What's in Divine Feminine's headspace, please? What's in Divine Feminine's headspace, please? High Priestess, same as his, mirroring. Takes of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Well, okay, so here we have High Priestess. They're both trusting their intuition. They both know this is supposed to be. Um, we have Six of Swords. Maybe she could possibly be moving away from something that doesn't serve her. She caught pop. She could have possibly had somebody else as well. I think, so we have Page of Pentacles here and Knight of Swords. I'm thinking with her, she just wants this fast, like off her fast. But you know, trust your intuition and, and, and you know if it comes in fast, it probably won't last. So you need to wait and, and have this come in in like a king emperor energy. If you're in the empress energy, you want an emperor. So chill out. <laughs> Why is the empress here in... Okay. That kind of confuses me. Four of pentacles. It's like holding on to something. We were holding on to this idea. Why is the strength card here? Hermit. I think you know you need to uh, hermit a little bit right now and uh, lay low and not cause any crazy disruptions. I get one more for the Empress, please. One more for this Empress. Five of Wands. I think, I think you're, I think you're kind of like fighting the unknown. I'd say in a way, like you're like, but you are the Empress. You, let's clarify the Empress. So you're you're overcoming all this like fear and and, and doubt. I'd say. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Wands. Get okay, one more for that. King of Swords. I think it's like you, with this it's like carrying a lot of weight. I think you're stressed. You think you've been carrying this for a while. You know it's coming. You're in the Empress energy. You're having strength. So I think it's just kind of a little, it's like, okay, I know it's coming. When is it coming? I know I gotta chill out. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Tower. <laughs> so you I think you can tell that there's been some sort of tower change moment with this new beginning. Or you have a new outlook on it. Why is the High Priestess here? Hierophant. Commitment. Marriage. Similar cards. Why is the... Whoa, oh, oh. Six of Cups, which I'd say kind of represents you. I mean, Six of Cups, what? Queen of Cups, which I'd say represents you. So I think you're walking away from things that don't serve you because I think you know that this union is coming together soon. So you're like, all right, I'm going to clear out my space. My space. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Queen of Wands. Yeah, so I think you just... 
You want these offers quick, but you know you need to wait. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Sun. Yeah, so, okay. It's like these are so clear to begin with. It's like, I feel like they're clarifying almost. They've been so good. It's like, why are we, why? It's like, it's like, why are you messing with a good thing? You know what I mean? I think there's a little bit of nerves, but they're clarifying cards, and I think you're overcoming that. I think you know something's coming. You're trying to have strength to stay back. You can tell it's terrible, but it's coming. You're trying to stay back and have strength. You're in your Empress energy, so that's super awesome. Ten of Pentacles. Like, can't get much better than that. You're trusting your intuition. You're walking away from what doesn't serve you, and you want this. The only thing here, the only negatives I'd see here is you want it to come in fast, but immaturely. So I'd say have strength, be patient. You want it to come in as a king. It's going to, but just give it a little t a tad more time, I'd say. Um, but other than that, I, it looks pretty good. Pull Romance Angels. Um, Divine Feminine, Hard Space. Healing family issues. So maybe you guys have some healing that you have to do. I, um, Divine Feminine's headspace, please. Deception. I think it's like, hmm, why is healing family issues? Why is deception here? Anyway. Yeah, so you know there's you know that it's coming, you know that divine masculine has been deceiving you up until now. Um I think um so seeing as this is clarified with the devil, I'm gonna say you might be still holding on to something to do with karmic stuff. So drop any fear of that. But again, it's just a clarifier. So I don't know. I think it's like Divine Masculine is like charging. He's ready. I think the only thing with Divine Feminine, I mean, you are in the Empress energy. You are having strength. You want this new beginning, Ten of Pentacles. You're trusting your intuition. You're walking away from what doesn't serve you. The only thing is you wanted to, you wanted to rush in, but you know you need to chillax. Don't, don't do anything abrupt. Don't text anyone. Don't do anything. Just hold back a little bit longer. It's coming. Like, it's coming so quickly. Just hold back. Hold back. Don't let the, anybody come in to you as this page or knight. Let them come in as a king and emperor. Because you're an empress. You have strength. So that's the thing here, I, I would say. Just, um... Other than that, it's great. But just let go of any past... Any final hurts, it have a little bit of patience. Um, okay. okay, we're gonna see what action does Divine Masculine want to take towards Divine Feminine. What action does Divine Masculine want to take towards Divine Feminine? Action does Divine Masculine want to take towards Divine Feminine, please? What action does Divine Masculine want to take towards Divine Feminine? Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. This is like, I thought yesterday's was crazy. This is crazier. The Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups, which is essentially the Lover's card, working on something. Four of Wands, which is like Twin Flame, Soulmate, Marriage card. Like, the only thing he's doing now is working on it. There's no questioning, there's no anything else. It's like, there's a little bit of nerves and a little bit of working on it. And other than that, like, it's coming. So, like, be patient. Have faith. Don't let anybody, don't rush it. Don't Just don't rush it. Have faith. It's coming the way it's supposed to come. Like, oh my goodness. 
Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? <clears throat> yeah, there's definitely a little stress about this, but that's this card doesn't bother me because it's like, of course there's stress with something like this. Like this is huge. Why is the two of cups here? Of course there's gonna be stress about a new thing. Why is the two of cups here? to come in and speak the truth. Why is it eight of pentacles here? Manifesting. Why is the four of wands here? One more for four. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, here we go, two aces again. So. Wants to, this new beginning, a little stress out about it. Wants to come and speak the truth to you. Working on manifesting this and getting it all coordinated. Then, you know, wants this new beginning, love, happy marriage, family, whatever you want to call it thing with you. We have this small offer first. I think we might start out with a little bit of small offer, like, I don't know, reaching out about something stupid and then we have this. Like, what? This is nuts. Pretty romance angels to add to this, please. Yeah. <laughs> One more, please. Guys. <laughs> One more. Releasing your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. They're releasing any of their karmic situations. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So he might be asking some friends for help. Forgiving and learning again. So he's he's learned from this scenario. He's like, this is nuts. He's letting go of karmic situations. Having friends help him. Forgiving. Learning. A little bit stressed about a new beginning, but obviously wants to speak the truth, working on manifesting this, four of wands, new, be new love, beginning in love. Like, I don't even know. <sighs> okay, one more question. Again, I was gonna do advice, but I mean, I've kind of given advice throughout this whole thing. Like, it's coming. Nah, it's not even have faith anymore. It's like, how can you not have faith in that? It's like, have patience. You want it to come in right. Uh, what is Divine Masculine not telling Divine Feminine right now? What is Divine Masculine not telling Divine Feminine right now? What's Divine Masculine not telling Divine Feminine? What's Divine Masculine not telling Divine Feminine? Divine Masculine, not telling Divine Feminine. King, in this King energy offer. <laughs> Got the King and Queen, perfect pair, stable, perfect stable pair walking away from what doesn't serve him coming in with this offer or walking towards you to give you the offer why is the king of pentacles here why, oh my gosh. why is the king of pentacles here hold on why is the king of pentacles here please King of Pentacles here. King of Pentacles here. Okay. Oh god, I knew I was waiting for something good. <laughs> uh, 
And this is what's on the bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords. Had a tower moment. Is now a king. <laughs> Can I get one more for this King of Pentacles? <laughs> Wants to give his final pentacle to uh, this Nine of Pentacles here and to make ten. There's a page of cups here. There's a page of cups here. Very specific messages today. There's a page of cups here. Um, let me take that. High right, priestess, trusting his intuition to come in with an offer. Why is the six of swords here? Lord. <laughs> uh, ten of pentacles. Look at that. Makes ten. Ten of pentacles. Had this tire movement. Wants to come in. Move forward and make it this ten of pentacles. Trusting his intuition to come with an offer. Where's this queen of pentacles here? Ace of Cups, New Beginnings in Love. How many times has that come up? Like, I'm blown away. You Romance Angels to add to this, please. New Love. Any more? Oh. This is off the chain. <laughs> Who says that? I think I just lost some. How many? Oh, Lord. I don't know. I think I might have lost some. Anyway. Any more? <laughs> Things are flying. That's weird. Okay. One more. Separation, which my guess is end separation, but I might clarify that in a minute. New love, present is stirring your romantic feelings, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. There's a separation card here. Oh, <laughs> end separation to go into this. New love, chemistry. Had a tire moment. It's now a king. Wants to give that last pentacle to this guy, girl, or whatever. Ten of pentacles right here. Moving from this, moving on to this. Trusting his intuition to give an offer. New love with this queen. Like, bloop, what? Oh. I'm blown away. Alright. Alright, let's see. This is the crowner. <laughs> Sounds like, oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, uh, anything divine masculine isn't telling divine feminine. Anything divine masculine isn't telling divine feminine. Ooh, seriously, there's some serious messages right now. Like. Detailed. I've thought about you a lot lately. Anything else? Oh, my heart is telling me to just do it. Anymore? I've never forgotten you, even if you think I have. This like is like almost perfect. One more, please. My mind and heart always come back to you. Uh, Lord help me. All right, I'm just gonna do one final thing. Oh, I need, oh my goodness, there's so much energy here. 
hyped. All right. Any final messages for these people? Any final messages you want to tell them? Any final last messages? Any final last messages? Any final last advice, messages, anything else I should know? Anything at all? Get one more. Any final last messages? Ooh. Ah! Hot strength. It's coming. I just want to clarify, but it's pretty self explanatory. Why is the strength card here? Why is the chariot? Why is the chariot card here? Moving away from deception. Guys, look what just fell out. Emperor and Six of Cups, past life relationship. Moving away from deception and into this. Have strength. Alright, anything else? I think half these are under the couch, but we'll just see what we got. <laughs> Any final messages or advice? wedding. This situation involves marriage. One more. I'm done. <laughs> oh my god. Oh lord. This literally is almost perfect reading. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Like, draw, draw. <laughs> jaw dropping <sighs> I've never seen anything like this I I'm speechless I'm gonna go dig under the couch for the rest of those cards hope that was helpful and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow if you're not already married <laughs> bye